Caddis Maximus here. This is the last battery charger I'm going to do review. I'm going to do for a while, but this is a LaCrosse BC 700 first generation, the BC 9009 second generation. These are the premium digital battery reconditioners and analyzers. So these are used AA and AAA uh, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, and even nickel zinc batteries. They're rechargeable units. The big difference between the first and second generation is this is 0.7 amps max output and this is one amp max output so this is a uh, 40 percent faster charging these do have are fully digital and they actually display a bios revision and there's been some reports of issues with these uh particularly with certain bios revisions so it's something to be aware of and there's some good postings online about that i personally never had any issues with either one of these they're pretty expensive around 40 dollars but they're for the more technically inclined i actually wouldn't recommend these for anybody who's just doing just wants to start using Antelopes and doesn't want to use the terrible charger that they have on the shelf for Antelopes, but use a independent bay charger. And I've reviewed quite a few of them just so people have information or if they're looking online, look up some of those models where uh, those are some of the ones that I really like that really work well or independent bay like these. So it's like four independent chargers so you don't overcharge batteries and you can charge a mixture of batteries, even one at a time. These do a wide variety of modes, but they'll do, you know, standard charging and you can customize the charging current, which is one of the technical aspects. You, like on this one, you can go 200, 500, 700, and even one amp charge rates. So you can do slow or fast charges. It does the same thing for discharges. You can select uh, the discharge current. It will do uh, just a discharge. You can do a discharge and then a single cycle recharge. You can, which is like a test, you can do a refresh where it will actually discharge and recharge the battery over and over again until the capacity doesn't come up. Uh, they're pretty technical where they'll display, you know, the milliamps, the voltage, the current, the amount of time that it's spent. So if one of these days I'm going to do like a comparison of a bunch of different batteries, including alkalines, because you can use these to discharge an alkaline. And this is exactly the kind of device you want to use it for because it will, you can customize both, you know, low or high current discharges and then it will measure the time that it takes and the amount of actual milliamps or energy that it delivered. They're actually perfect for that. And so one day I will make a big involved review, maybe after I get a, edit, a video editing computer so I can edit a whole bunch of pieces of footage together. And so that's really the deal. You know, they come with, uh, one has a lower power. They're both three volts. So even though they have like 12 volt plug, that's one thing I thought was odd because it's begging for, since this is just the standard uh, plug for 12 volt devices, um, you know, it's begging to get them a 12 volt adapter accidentally plugged in. And I'm sure burning out one of these. So I thought that was a little bit odd. And maybe at the end of this video, I'll open one up just so we can look at the circuits inside. You know, they are pretty nicely made. They do have temperature sensor tabs up here at, whoop, at the top of the charger. Uh, pretty easy access. Some chargers are very hard to get the batteries in and out. These are very easy. You can just pop them in and out. just no problem. And you have wide access to pop the battery back out. A nice, pretty nice clear display buttons to select each of the uh, bays. And then, of course, mode and a dis uh, mode of display and then the current button. The one annoying aspect of these chargers, though, is when you initially put in a battery, you have like three to five seconds to select the charging current, how fast it's going to recharge the batteries, and it always defaults to the slowest or lowest setting, which would be like a insane. On a battery like that, it's like a 10-hour charge. I mean, it's totally ridiculous. And so that's one primary reason I would recommend... Just a general person not get one of these and get one of the more simple ones that I've reviewed earlier is because you're just going to plug this in, want to toss in some batteries, and then you're going to wonder what hours and hours later you get back, go to work, come back from work, and the batteries are still charging. And you thought, for a $40 charger, what's going on there? It's because you have to select a charging current, and if you don't select it within five seconds, uh, you can't modify it without pulling the batteries and putting it back in. You can change any other mode while it's running except for the charging current, which is, just seems weird. It's one of the most frustrating things about this charger. And what I mean is if I put in a couple batteries here, we'll put them in a couple random bays, and as soon as I put them in, this is my opportunity to select the charge current. And so we'll do that. 
and then you just wait a second until it clears or the screen uh, automatically, there it goes, it flashes. At this point, the only way to change the charging current is to pull the batteries out and put them back in. It's really pretty annoying. So if you want to, say, charge a th another battery here at a lower charging current, I have to wait for those to reset, put in that battery, and now I can charge this one, say, at 500 milliamps. And that would be the process. So it's really, really cumbersome and kind of time-consuming and probably the worst, you know, operational aspect of this charger. Anything else, you know, I can select this battery here. I can change it to, say, discharge. And I can, it should allow me to, nope, it's just discharging at half the charge rate. So for some reason, it's not allowing me to modify the discharge rate. Whoop, let me change the mode. But anyway, you have a discharge mode there. Refresh test and back to a charge oh it was changing all those and so it's a little bit weird hitting the buttons functionality is kind of funky pretty much i just try to use it where everything is set to the same just because of how difficult it is just to get that to change like i for some reason it won't allow me to change that discharge rate and I didn't realize that till just now that's locked into the charge rate. But like on this channel, I bet if I go into discharge mode, yeah, it's half, 250. So they're a little bit funky, but they give you the opportunity to do all this custom stuff on a per battery basis. And there really are true analyzers. They're just funky to use for an individual when you got to interact with the charger that much just to get some batteries going. Oh, and the other aspect is the display. So once we do that, we'll do our charging voltage here. The amount of energy it's delivered to the batteries. And of course, how long it's taken to do it. So anyway, I just wanted to get this review out there. There's a few reviews of these chargers. Um, and they're pretty decent. But I didn't, you know, want to put mine out there where it was real clear about how they operate and what they do. Because they are real nice and they're real attractive when you're looking online for a nice, you know, uh, battery charger. Um, but once you get them, if you're not kind of prepared to deal with this kind of charger, they can end up being real frustrating. You'll just be better off getting like uh, a larger one that can do more than four batteries at once. And other companies like Maha and Tenergy have chargers that are like this too. So, But the Lacrosses were like the popular ones, and they've been around for a while, and they really did make a name early on. Lots of reviews of just, yo, know, you got to get these chargers because they're incredible. And really, they are incredible if you want to engage in a lot of evaluation and custom charging of your batteries. Otherwise, just get something more basic. Anyway, this is at least the last battery charger review for a while. I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. I truly do, and just love making these videos. Even if some are less popular and some are more popular, I just like getting the information out there. Inevitably, over time, it seems even the most esoteric video I put out there, there's somebody who actually appreciates it, like an old tool where they had one. They, there was no information on it until they found one of my videos. That actually makes me feel pretty good. And to anybody who hasn't subscribed, please do subscribe to the Caddis Maximus channel. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.